It said cook it for 45 minutes at 180. It's been in there an hour. I still don't even know if it's hot in the middle. Hey, hello and welcome to the Adam and Val YouTube channel where I nearly dropped the empty box. This is Twisted at Iceland. And they have gone for a lasagna filled Yorkshire pudding. I'm not really too sure who this Twisted company are. I've never heard of them before. There was other products in there. There was these giant pigs in blankets. There was two of them in a box. There was these double XL cheeseburgers, but in a kebab style on a stick. Two of them in a box. There was a there was a, a hunter's chicken pasta dish. But I thought this is a combination. Excuse me. That I don't know how that's come about, and I don't know how that's worked. I'm going to put some close-ups the, on the screen of it frozen and of it cooked while I read what it says. And it says. Um, Twisted lasagna filled Yorkshire pudding. Cooked Yorkshire pudding filled with minced beef ragu with cooked diced smoked bacon layered between egg pasta topped with cheese sauce and sprinkled with a mix of toasted breadcrumbs and diced mozzarella and cheddar cheese. That's quite a long description, isn't it? Twisted, unseriously food tastes seriously good. We're Twisted, a team of food obsessed pioneers with one mission, to make food as fun and sociable as possible. So that is their aim. And it says there, as seen on social media, they've got 400 million followers worldwide. 40 million followers worldwide. And I did see this on social media, so the advertising there is true, but I've never really seen that on a product. You don't get McDonald's bring out a new burger and put on the box as seen on a TV advert, as seen on social media. So they I suppose it's just marketing. They're trying to get they're trying to get their name out there. And they've paired up with Iceland um, and come up with these twisted meals. They've all sat around the table. Now this to me is like someone's gone to Bella, Ita Bella Italia are sitting there and they're like, what can we do with our lasagna? Let's let's pimp it up a bit. And the, the, the head chef says well, let's phone up Toby Carvery. We'll get one of our lasagnas. We'll get it to put it in one of their Yorkshire puddings. I think that's what's happened. Because where else does the idea come from? It's like it's like the manager of Wagamama calling up the owners of McDonald's and saying, yeah, our bang bang cauliflower. Let's put that inside a Big Mac. You, you just... And then freeze it and sell it to us and to put in the oven for 45 minutes at 180. It's just a weird cauliflower inside of it. I mean, you get cauliflower steak. And you could have that in a bun. Right, McDonald's, don't steal it. If there's a cauliflower steak burger comes out at any fast food joint in the next few months, I'm suing. I'm suing. You've heard it here first. Right, back to this product. Let's have a little... I've, I've cut it as it... So this is what it looks like on the box. And I've tried to cut it the same. It doesn't quite look the same. I don't know if I'm going to get the camera angle right. It's a... Uh, there it is. That close-up goodness. So I've cut it the same. It's got these nice brick crumbs on top, which look nice. It smells all right. Now I had it in the oven nearly an hour. And I'm a bit concerned because there's not tons of steam coming out of it. But we will cut it, cut a piece off. This is my tea, by the way, so it's not going to go to waste, even if it's horrible. I've got to eat it. It is a bit sloppy. Cooking tip, if you make a homemade lasagna, when you take it out of the oven, leave it about 10 minutes. And rather than you dish it up and it goes all sloppy, it will be nice and set. 10 minutes when you get it out of the oven, it'll still be hot, but it will set nicely when I'm serving up slop, which is what has happened here. And it's been out of the oven a good 10 minutes. So I've been talking for about five minutes. I'm going to go straight in with some of that sauce and with the Yorkshire pudding. So it is hot. It's not hot, hot. I probably could have done with another 10 minutes, but rather than have been on an hour, it tastes like lasagna. It tastes like Yorkshire pudding. We get a bit of lasagna on its own with a mince. It tastes like mince. I'm not getting the way they've described that with with bacon and everything. I'm not going to pick through it, but it says it's got a ragu cooked with bacon layer between cooked egg pasta. Let's see if we can get some of the pasta. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Look at that pasta. And that topping is adding a little bit of texture. It's a, it's a lasagna. I'll get a bit of the Yorkshire pudding on its own. 
that's going to taste like Yorkshire pudding. The edges have gone crispy. It's, a, it's not a bad idea, to be fair. They don't not go. No. They don't not go. It's not like they don't go together. I'm not, I'm not sure what the correct wording is there. But it's not a disgusting fusion idea. It works all right. I've, I've bought them uh, frozen big Yorkshire puddings and filled them with, with mince and onions and gravy and carrot and, and mashed potato or roast potatoes and meat. I've done that a couple of times. I would never think of putting a lasagna inside one. But then I said I'd done it with mince meat and gravy, so this is just mince meat. And I'm not going to criticise them for trying for something different. It's not blowing me away because it's a frozen lasagna at the end of the day with a, a Yorkshire pudding, which is always just a vessel to carry food inside. They are £4 each, or you can get three for £10 if you want to try more of the range. They're at Iceland now. If you fancy something a little bit different, not cheap. However, they're trying to corner the market of these different goods. But if anyone does bring out a cauliflower steak burger, I'm going to be furious. Um, I've got to go and finish this off for my tea. For more videos where we don't think the inside of the product is cooked, but it actually probably just about is, don't forget to like and subscribe.